I hate it when my I really hate it when my family invade in my relationships, okay? Look, obviously, all six, well, not all six. No, not all three, I mean. Only two of my families know that I only had one girlfriend, okay? One, that's it, okay? If anything, my modern, my modern, you know, specifically modern parents, one of them, find it problematic that I only the heck is that if that's a person I'm ready to throw some hands time for me to use this um this Shaolin I learned um, 11 years ago that I forgot everything about so yeah anyway so yeah yeah I, I just don't my, yeah yeah my modern parents find it problematic that one of, them, one of them specifically find it problematic that is Ray crazy like he should be out there like he's supposed why, why, why is he still a virgin and all that junk like, I just don't want nobody in my family invading in my dating life at all. That's been a very big thing for a long time. Long time. I remember when I had one of my first official crushes ever back in second grade. I mean, I'm the one who told, I think, my siblings around. And then they get up telling people around. I think I remember I didn't want certain people knowing in my family back in second grade. But, you know, I don't know. And especially considering I didn't get the girl. Um, I guess, you know, all that, you know, peer pressure or whatever. Ray, you should be doing this. Ray, you should be doing that. So, yeah. Anyway, so, like, let me just go. I, I'm on, probably, this video probably won't be long. But I just really don't like the fact that my family, all, all of my families try to be up in my dating business. Specifically, two of my childhood family and my modern family. My biological family, that's, I mean, I can technically get care less. I'm only saying that it's its actually a little biased because I never, I didn't grow up with them. I'm, I'm just now somewhat back in their lives. I visit them occasionally. So, yeah. yeah. I didn't grow up around my biological family, but, you know, that's it. So, yeah, um, yeah, but I don't know. I guess I could say I only trust my biological family. But at the same time, I kind of don't. I really don't. That's the thing. I don't really trust nothing. Not, I don't have a reliable family. I already made a video about that. I ha I do not have a reliable family. Not at all. Um. Yeah, not at all. But, um, yeah. It's just so... The problem is, I just don't like the fact... Ray, are you doing this with her? Ray, what you doing this? Ray, how's your girlfriend? Ray, how's this? Ray, how's that? I mean, that's okay, but at the same time... Ray... Uh, and then don't get me started with the stupid sexual jokes. Ray, you should, um... Oh, my gosh. Oh, this was so disgusting. Ray, this... I was told this recently by, one, by my modern father. We was up in the Victoria's Secret, or the the pink store next to it or whatever. Um, next to the Victoria's um, Secret store. In the mall. And then, we obviously, there's panties all over everywhere. Ray, when you get it, when you get a woman, make sure you... Oh, this is so disgusting. Oh my gosh. He he freaky. He freaky. Yeah, I'm I'm pronoun dropping. I don't care. That's disgusting. He's like he was a hoovy. He was like, Ray, you see those over there? It was panties on up there. Or or what was it was it panties? I think yeah, it was panties. Um female panties on on the on the wall. He's like, when you get that, make sure make sure you use your teeth. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Look, I know I've watched a lot of prawn and junk. I, I understand. It completely screwed up my brain. But like I said, my, I'm not long gone, okay? That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. The I. Uh, hold up. Hold up. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. That's disgusting. I'm not acting. That's genuinely disgusting. For real, though. The idea I'm over here biting off a woman's underwear off. <coughs> okay, let me stop talking about that. That's disgusting. Anyways, yeah, yeah, but all this freaky stuff. I'm about to swear. All this freaky stuff that that um that my my that my family would influence on me. 
like, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to mention it, but point being, members of my post-childhood family really, really think eventually I'm going to, like, go all out in my disgusting, freaky stuff. Like, use my teeth to pull off with female's underwear off. That, that's one of them. I'm going to be getting busy because I'm a man, whatever. Sleeping around with a whole bunch of women, apparently. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't want to talk about sex. This stuff is disgusting. Oh, you see, the world has completely screwed up sex, and I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep what's left of, of God's original design for it, of pure, the pure, you know, pure, fruitful sex. I don't, I honestly don't really know what that looks like. I think it's easier done than said. Done than said. I just gotta do it the way. And for the record, I'm not getting married to have sex, people. I, that's one thing. I'm, I'm getting married to have companionship, love, and all that. That's what I want. That's why I want to get married. But yeah, anyways. Anyways, yeah, like, I just don't, all the family influence, all the family influence that, um, is, that, that I just don't want any of that. Like, you know, we, obviously we have the sex part, that Ray, especially from the, the guys of, of all my family, it's like, oh, Ray, oh, doing this, oh, you did this, Ray, um, you, 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 you rapping it and stuff like that, Ray, are you having music and stuff? Okay, like, this, that's just none of your business, stay out of it. They're probably more likely going to respect the sexual part of it. But I'm done talking about sex. I'm always talking about that junk. Let's go to the romantic part. Are you like um, singing to her, Ray? You should sing to her. That's probably most of the females in my family going to be saying. That better not be none of my modern... Okay, none of them. That's not me. That's not my modern parents. Truck, um, car, truck, whatever. Yeah, but... um, Yeah, um, yeah so... I'm over here thinking like... Like, cause that, the, I it has that has happened to me before with my unofficial ex. They was oh my gosh, they was all up in my business, all up my business. My childhood parent, and childhood father was all like, "Are you masturbating yourself?" Like, why are you asking me that question? That's some personal type stuff. This dude should not be smoking in his car. At least have the windows down. Um, are you masturbating yourself? That that junk. And then what else? Some other, what else? Some other stuff. I don't know. Oh, Mickey Mouse boyfriend. Ray, you a simp? I don't want to hear none of that. Okay. I don't want to hear uh, this person smoking in their car. I guess everybody's smoking in their car right now. I guess everybody's smoking in their car. It's the second person in the row. So yeah, um, where are you taking her? Are you taking her? You're taking her to Six Flags? Oh, that's so cute. I, I sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want no comments. I don't want no comments about my weddings, about my relationships. Nothing. I don't want no compliments either. I don't want no good compliments or no bad stuff either. I especially don't want no negative. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> ah, excuse me. <clears throat> Thank y'all, whoever said, um, bless you. Thank you. So anyway, so yeah, I, I just don't want to, I don't want to report nothing. I don't want to, it's none of your business. Oh, you don't want to say nothing because you have, you doing some freaky stuff with her. Okay, right. All right. I see. I see. Nah, no. Or maybe I just don't want my business up on the internet. I just don't want my business, um, being, um, being thrown out there. And I, that's the case. I don't want that. I don't want my stuff just thrown out there. What time is it? 10.50. It's, I need to get inside. Yeah, I just don't want my junk on... I just don't want my... I just don't want people in my business. Specifically families. Because they was always the main people saying, how's your girlfriend, Ray? Are you giving her gifts? Oh, you should do this instead. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want no advice. Nothing. The only time I want advice is when I ask. That's the kind of another reason why I'm not dating over here um, in my modern parents' place. Because they're going to be over here doing the same junk or whatever. These stupid sexual jokes. And then on top of that, they're going to be um, doing some, um, some um, like, Ray, you, you need to be having some swag. Where your swag at, Ray? And all that junk. I just wish my, I, I don't want my family up, up my business at all. And when I have, when I get, when I get, uh, when I get my first girlfriend or what, this guy need to put his phone away. 
Uh, people been texting on texting and driving all the time. You know, I was somewhat I, I wasn't texting, but I was on my phone while riding this bike in the dark in a trail. My trial did today. Um, yeah, I did it today. It was fun, therapeutic, very therapeutic. So yeah, um, released a lot of mental stuff. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Once I get a girlfriend, I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. They already, my my parents already find it where I'm gonna be going inside the house. Where are you going? Where to, um a, a year and a half ago? Where you was at? At a girl's house? What in the world are we gonna do? Seriously, what are we gonna do? They probably won't think I'm gonna get um you know. Start getting in and stuff like that. I bet they always want to think some sexual junk. I understand I'm 24 years old, still a virgin, and all that, you know, sexual energy and stuff like that, and all that, you know. I get it. I get it. All the freaky stuff. I get it. I don't know how freaky I am, but still, though. I just don't want my. I just don't want. My, I just don't want no judgments. I don't want no advice and nothing like that. The only time I want advice from my. Families is is because is, is when I ask specifically my parents. That's it. That's it. I already get enough slack about saying about females' behavior and stuff like that. About all this feminism and how women these days, modern women, are not as feminine as they used to. They find it specifically the females of my modern siblings. Uh, they find it very very problematic that I do not want. A woman who's independent and stuff like that. That don't need no man. And I don't want a woman who got attitude and stuff like that. They find that very problematic. I don't want a woman like that. You you, you need to put her her femininity, Ray. Like, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh, you want a slave, Ray? That's why you want a house right. No. You see, that's why I wish I kept my mouth shut. I wish I kept my mouth shut on my preference of women. Oh, you, you don't like black women because um, you a sod. You hate yourself or whatever. You think black women are ugly. No, that's not the case. I'm, I find well, black women unattractive, you know, physically speaking. But, um, but, but st- the, point, the point is that black women are pretty, okay? Disclaimer, black women, you are pretty, okay? I'm just not attracted to y'all. It is what it is. I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a rare breed of black man, so yeah. So yeah, and y'all are black women anyway. So yeah, um, they they find my interracial preference, uh, my interracial preference problematic. I just don't want to talk about nothing in regards to females, women, dating, nothing about, not even my own male improvement and stuff like that. I'm not going to speak on nothing. And I don't want them commenting on nothing. I don't want to hear jack nothing. From none of my None of my family at all All of them All three of my families I want nothing Nothing Absolutely nothing The only time I want something Is if I feel threatened By my own self or whatever Or by a relationship or whatever Or I need some advice or whatever I'll go up there and ask Either six of my parents Specifically one of them Man, that's my biological father because he's technically. Oh uh, no, never mind. I don't get. You see, this mean I don't have reliable parents. I have no reliable parents. I have six parents, which are variant slash versions. That's a hint, by the way, because um, some of y'all say I'm ad- adopted, so I'll let you confirm or deny if I'm adopted or not. So yeah, um, so yeah, yeah. I wonder how am I doing in that reality. If my body goes to parents stayed together and actually did what they were supposed to, biblically speaking. You see, this is why I got standards and so up on this virgin Christian woman, y'all. Because my biological parents, they were not virgins. They wasn't paying attention. They was not paying attention, um, doing things. They wanted to be the world. Both my biological parents, um, they both admitted to they wanted to be the war. They wanted to be the world. And because of that, here I am. I exist. So now I am conceived through sin. Yes, I'm conceived through sin, people. I'm conceived through sin, and now I'm sitting here with all these problems. These I'm a I'm, I'm a kind of black pillar. I'm a purple pillar. I'm a I'm a, a black purple pill person. 
I don't like really identify with pills and stuff like that, but I am. I'm kind of MGTOW. And yeah. So yeah. And I'm trying to keep as much of God's original design and everything, but I cannot do that if I don't have a reliable family. I'm not trying to repeat the mistakes, repeat the worldly mis the worldly choices that my biological parents made. So there's a reason why I'm choosing not to date right now. I want to make sure I get my own, you know, get my own, you know, independence at uh, independence. You know, depending on God for pretty much everything. Increasing my relationship with God. That way, um, He can bless me. The Holy Spirit can bless me with the wife. And when I do, I don't want, I kind of don't want nothing to do with my, any of my families. Since everybody's broken, since everybody's divorced and everything, what's the point of, the, what's the point of inviting anybody to my wedding? I'm serious. I don't plan on inviting nobody to my wedding. If anything, I don't want a wedding at all. You see, that's that. You see, this is what happens when families um, separate, when divorces happen. This is why. This is why I'm trying to keep as much as original plan as much as possible. Y'all, y'all want to fault me for following Christianity, calling it, um, you know, evil and everything. But you see, my 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 all six of my parents, they completely messed up. They just all their relation, all their relationships started through sin. Started through sinful choices or whatever. I understand we grow weak, but at the end of the day. Once you sin, it's there, it, the sin is done, and there you go. Now that's the foundation of the sin. The point is, is to break it from the beginning. Adam and Eve, they screwed up in the beginning. If they would have never screwed up in the beginning, we, none of us, none of this, me making videos like this would have never happened. I wonder how in the world humanity is in that alternate universe where Adam and Eve never broke from the tree. I bet it's a utopia. Yep. So, in this reality, where we are broken, whatever purities I have left, like my virginity, I'm going to keep that and go for another virgin woman. That simple. I'm not going to sit there and repeat the mistakes my, my, my um, biological, my, my, specifically my biological parents. I'm not going to repeat that mistakes. Otherwise, this video is too long. Thanks for watching. Um, in conclusion, in conclusion. I, I my my I want my family out of I, I don't want I, I want my, I want my family out of my um my dating business, nope. And if any of y'all any of my family of any of my family from all three of my families, find out if I find out if I'm dating, do me do yourself even a favor, don't come to me about nothing, do not question me, do not interview me, do not interrogate me. That's the big one. Don't say jack nothing to me. I want to swear, but I'm trying not to swear. Don't say a thing to me, ever. Wait until I introduce. And when I introduce Ray, I knew this entire time. Okay. I wouldn't feel too bad. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.